Alright, this is Norman Yeo from uh, Tangy Lab and in this video basically I'm going to share a little bit on how to use Easter page uh, in, in, and also this is actually the itinerary of what I'll be going through uh, firstly we'll just go through the key elements of uh, Easter page secondly how to select and use templates if you all would like to use a template how to add images, how to adjust the fonts and color uh, how to create forms, this is where you actually collect leads from your target audience and uh, how to adjust page title and page description finally adjusting the suit mobile uh, creating a thank you page linking your form to your thank you page and uh, last but not least I will actually be showing a live example on building a whole landing page from scratch okay so to move on let's go to the Insta page so this is actually already an existing Insta page account that I have and I'm going to open up an existing uh, landing page to let you take a look. Uh, this is where we'll be going through some of the key elements. Okay, in order to add in any things, right, one of the first things you need to understand is you will see at the top bar, right, there's actually an add new button. And basically, the beautiful thing about Insta page is really intuitive and it's really quite easy to use. Uh, of course, it takes some familiarity uh, and that's what I'm trying to do achieve for you today to help you understand some of the key features. So basically, uh, firstly, what is section? Section is basically, uh, uh, how should I say? Uh, section is basically like what the name implies, section. And uh, typically, I like to use this section of my work. Uh, so you see, each of these is actually a section. Can you see the blue dotted line? Yeah, where you cut off the uh, dotted line here, this is actually one section and this is actually another section. When you move your mouse over when you move your mouse over that section, you'll be able to see that hey, there's something over here and you can actually edit the individual section in terms of color. Let's say if I want to change it to a red color. Yeah. So you can see that we can actually edit the section to various different colors. Yeah, and it can actually look pretty cool after a while. So let's say I this one I want blue color. Oops, background color, blue color. Yeah, so this is actually how you can design your landing, uh, your landing page also. So, section is also another thing we should use. You can actually, if let's say you need more space within your section, you can actually just click here, drag. Or if there's too much space, you can just push it in. Yeah, until it looks really nice and cool for you. So there's section. Uh, at any point of time, if you need to add section, you can just add section here. And you can just add another section and voila you have it here so I can change this to another color so let's say if I choose another shade of green yeah yeah and there you have three different section take note that you can also create a you can also check this option which is stretch to the edge typically now nowadays uh, when we do design we will always stretch it to the edge because it actually look nicer yeah but sometimes if you have a preference not to you can actually uncheck this option too and you can see what happened here of course you can also put the image yeah let's say if i decide to put the image as a background this is how it will look like and if you set parallax see what happens if you set parallax what it means is that the image background doesn't move but your screen moves so parallax is another added feature that you can actually uh, consider to make it look cool too. Okay, so moving on, let me add a new section so that I can have a blank screen. So moving on, some other key elements that you'll be using right, will actually be your headline. Okay, so your headline, uh, as usual, you can type, this is my headline. And... Uh, this is pretty similar to Microsoft Word ID where you can align center or you can align right depending on how you prefer it to be so you can also change the size for this all prefix size and now here is where you change the color once again so let's say uh, if I want green for this just click done and I have a green color headline okay uh, you can also bold, bold your headline or make it italic and underline this is my headline. Yeah. So the second thing you take note is uh, paragraph. 
the headline and paragraph, uh, just take note that there's a difference between the headline and the paragraph and this one will be where uh, we'll be adjusting the font type. Yeah, and I'll be showing that later, after, uh, shortly after showing this paragraph. So just use this as the headline is to create a strong impactful statement uh, and the paragraph is usually used as a support, uh, supporting statement. So in this case, the paragraph, you can actually take a look at this. And very similarly, you can actually increase the size of your paragraph. You can change the color of your words. You can bold your words or you can even, uh, let's say I want to bold specific words. Let's say tell a story and I want to bold this and I want to italic these words. I can just uh, bold and italic these words or if I want to underline products and services, I can do that so. And of course, for most of your work, we'll be using quite a bit of bullet point. Oops, let me just change. Okay, you will be using quite a bit of bullet point, so you can actually see that uh, there's a bullet point feature here. This is bullet by number and this is bullet by the small little circle. So I can say item 1, item 2, and item 3. If you want to create a spacing between your bullet, like let's say if you feel that this is too compact, you can actually just go to uh, like the end of the statement, you press enter twice, enter once, enter twice and it will disappear. So this can actually give you more spacing between your bullet point. Okay. Okay, so this is for the text. Uh, now I'm going to share with you on how you can actually change the font of your headline, the font type of the headline and the font type of your paragraph text. This is for those of you who uh, are more familiar with the font type. So you can actually go to settings and you actually see fonts. Okay, so you click fonts. Uh, so the good thing about Instapage and also uh, some of the restriction is all the font for headline is one type of font and all the font for paragraph is one type of font. So usually for me, I like to use uh, Oswat as my headline font and Lato for my paragraph font. So you see that all my font type here is all the same actually. Yeah, you can copy the same if you prefer to also. If not, then you can just experiment and test out a different font. You can actually see it straight away when you click. See? So these are real headlines and area paragraph. Georgia headline and Georgia paragraph. Yeah, you can actually just test to see what suits you. So these are all prefix font already. Uh, of course, you can also go and customize your own font, like what I did just now. You just press new style, choose the font you want. Another type of text I like to use is actually Meriwether for this. Yeah, apparently it looks nice. Okay, so this is really much of, this is really on the font, adding font and editing the various element. Secondly, it's very important uh, you will be using this very often, so which is adding images. So let's say I want to add an image. Uh, okay, maybe I want to add this image of this baby yawning here. Okay, so I'm just going to click this is click upload from PC and then just start finding where the document is I save it here and I'm going to find baby yawn yep so baby yawn choose this image okay ignore this just click insert image and you have this yeah, and uh, the beautiful thing is as usual, it's all drag and drop. So you can just drag and drop here. If let's say you need to shift multiple components at one time, just create a square. And you can just drag and drop the various components as well. Okay, so you can see, I can just adjust this and my baby is here. Yeah, so now you've seen how to add headline, you've seen how to add section, add paragraph and add images. Uh, most of the time, this is sufficient already. Uh, another key thing that you know how to add, you will need to know how to add is also the form. So I'll just expand the section here. This is to add the form. Okay, and do you see how I do it? Let me do it one more time. I click add new, I go to form, and then I click and automatically added the form. So in when, when it comes to the form, right, there's a few things you can do. Uh, number one is you can add more fill. That means now the information I'm collecting is really name and email. Let's say uh, I want to add more field. I just, oh, just to show what I've done here is actually double click here. 
go to add field and I just add a depending on the type of information you want to take in uh, let's say text then let's say I can say company is it a required field if yes just check yes save so I have company let's say I want to know uh, how many people are in the company I can do a drop down okay I just start from blank okay so number of packs in company I can say firstly 1 to 20 okay 1 to 20 21 to 50 and more than 50 okay save so I have this I can also drag and drop the various field like let's say uh, I want to know the company name first before the email I can just drag the company and put it up here drag the number of packs and put it up here okay so you can see all these are pretty straightforward uh, next is which next will be on the button uh, so if I want to edit this button I'll actually just double click on the button choose button style and you can actually start typing things here like let's say uh, here to download your free ebook you can make it glossy yep and then you can change the color of your button let's say uh, i know i'm using a lot of green so maybe i use it here instead and you can even change the text color to black color or since we are talking about green let's change it to green yeah this is an example okay you can adjust this to center and yeah you have your form here so you can add a short paragraph here and if you just add in a short description of what you will get and yeah tada your form is done and centralize this okay so what we've covered so far is uh, we've basically covered the key elements in Insta page, how to use and select. Uh, oh, later I'll go through how to use and select the template, uh, how to add images, uh, how to adjust the font and color, how to create forms, and now I'll share a little bit of how to adjust the page title and page description. So why is this important? Uh, is basically let me show you something. Okay. If you see it right at the top, right, this is what we call the page title. And uh, why is this important? Right? It's basically if you do not adjust this right, then it will be like Insta page or it'll be a blank template. So you can actually consciously adjust this page title here. And to do that is also pretty straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is go settings, go look for this SEO, okay, and then just start editing your page title. So you can say uh Usually what I like to do is for the page title, I'll just put my headline so it can be seven things you need to know before buying commercial property. Yeah, that can be one uh, page title. Um, and for the description, you can just give a short blurb on the description also. You can leave Favicon uh, alone. Uh, basically, what is Favicon? Favicon is a small little image that will change this small tiny image here. Yeah, so this is actually the Favicon. And if you see the page that I built for them, I've changed it to their logo as the Favicon, which is actually this logo. So it, it's not significant. Uh, if you leave it alone, the Favicon you see will be this uh, Insta page Favicon. Okay. So when you're done, yeah, that's more or less about it. And after that, when you're done, you just click publish. You wait for a while, just click continue anyway. Then you go to how would you like to publish your page? Uh, for this course, just click Insta page, type the URL. So whatever you type, it will be reflected here. So if let, let's say you type uh, donkey123, it'll be donkey123.instapage.com. Okay, so of course I'm not doing the publish now because I'm actually working on this as a live example. Yeah, and after that, once you publish, your page is live already.
So the second thing that you need to take note of is actually in your desktop, right? Uh, sorry, in, in your settings, right? There's desktop and mobile. If you see this tab over here, you will see desktop and mobile. Um, for now, after you've done this, right? Always edit your desktop first before going on to your mobile. Uh, because in mobile, you cannot add in things. You can remove things, you can resize things, but you cannot add in any more things. So work on your desktop first, then later you go to your mobile. And then they'll show you how it will look like when people uh when, when your audience go to your mobile so you see this spacing here this is basically to the market uh how it will look like on your mobile phone really as they screw up okay so the beautiful thing about insta page is it lets you adjust mobile very very easily so of course when you do it on your desktop right when you go to your mobile there will be a lot of misalignment you see like this so what you need to do is really just to adjust all this misalignment like i can pull down my uh, section a little bit more bring down my form and then bring this down yeah so when you go and edit your mobile most of the time it's just adjusting margins uh, to make sure that everything is in line yeah so all these have already been properly adjusted and yeah like this I can actually push this down oh if it's like if it's this case where this image takes up too much space I will need to actually expand my section and this is also the reason why we need to create a lot more section yeah, if not, uh, every time you need to do any adjustment, you need to adjust your, uh, you need to adjust quite a number of components at one time. So you can see, you can just do this. Yeah, this is just simple editing. Just drag and drop. Nothing complicated. Okay, so once you clean up all your mobile, just click save. The moment your work is uh, published, right, you just need to save really. You don't need to republish it one more time. Okay, so I'm not going to save this work. New page. Okay, so um, I'm going to continue the other part on how to use a select template uh, on another video. And creating thank you page, I'll also be doing it on another video and the live example another video. So this is it for now. Okay, thank you.